Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up multipass denoising and how it can improve your renders. It's easy, and even if you're relatively new to Blender, you should not be overwhelmed by this tutorial. I'll try to make it quick and simple. First, I need to go over some basic denoising, then I'll cover the multipass denoising. This little scene was rendered in cycles with 96 samples and without any denoising. As you can see, the render is very noisy. We can very easily improve this. Go to the Render Properties tab. Notice that under Sampling there are two denoise sections. This first one affects what you see in this 3D viewport area while you are working in Render View. It can be very helpful to have this enabled, but we are more concerned with this second denoise area which affects your render. You can adjust these settings and achieve different results, but to keep this example simple, I've disabled the threshold and set the samples to 96. The next thing I need to do is turn on denoise. So what actually happens when this is enabled? I'm going to show you. Let's go to the compositing tab. Enable use nodes. Look at the render layers node and notice the options here. When we disable and enable denoise from the render properties, it toggles off and on noisy image. This is the first step in understanding how to set up a basic denoising composite. The next thing we need to do is go over to the view layer properties tab. In this section under data, enable denoising data. On the render layers node, you now have a few more sockets available with denoising options. Add a denoise node by holding down shift and pressing A. Click on the search bar and type denoise. Select denoise and drop it between the render layers and composite nodes. From the bottom up, connect the denoising albedo to albedo, connect denoising normal to normal, and connect noisy image to image. Finish setting up your output properties and save destination, then render the animation. This should have a dramatic effect on your final render. Even though this is a big improvement, there is another method called multipass denoising that works even better. Here's a comparison that shows the difference between the basic denoising setup and multipass denoising. The clip on the right has less of the grainy noise and flickering, which is a slight improvement. But in addition to this, it's also a little clearer. This is because multipass denoising preserves more details in your textures. If I stop the loop and compare certain areas, you can see the difference in the detail. This area here looks a lot smoother and flat, almost cartoonish, and the same area on this side looks a lot more natural and realistic. We can skip ahead to another frame and easily spot the difference again. This area here looks a lot smoother compared to this side where the details are more preserved. Let's set up multipass denoising in the compositing tab. I'm going to get rid of the denoise node and reset everything so I can start from the beginning. We won't need this noisy image socket, so I'm going to go to the render properties tab and turn this off by unchecking the denoise. If you're still with me, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to help support the channel. You can also save this video and skip to this point to use as a guide on your future projects. Go to the compositing tab and enable use nodes. You should have a render layers node and a composite node. Go to the view layer properties on the side here, enable denoising data, scroll down a little, enable these passes under diffuse and glossy. Down a little further on the list, enable emission and environment. By enabling these passes, we have added these extra sockets to the view layers node. Create some space between these nodes, drag this one over here and drag the composite node all the way over here. Hold control, then right click and drag to cut the noodle. Hold shift and press A. Click the search bar and type denoise. Select the node and drop it here. Do the same thing again, but this time search for a mixed node. Open this menu and select multiply. Click this little down arrow to minimize each of these nodes and save some space. Connect the image socket of the denoise to the top image socket of the mix node. It's the one in the middle. Select both nodes, hold shift and press D to duplicate. Select all four nodes and duplicate again. Connect the diffuse direct to the top socket of the denoise node. Connect the denoising normal to the normal socket of the denoise node or connect purple to purple. Connect the denoising albedo to the albedo. Now connect the diffuse indirect to the image socket of the next denoise node. Connect the denoising normal to the normal and connect the denoising albedo to the albedo. Connect the diffuse color to the bottom image socket of the top two mix nodes. 
Connect the glossy direct to the top socket of this denoise node. Connect the normal to normal and connect the albedo to albedo. Do the same thing for the glossy indirect. Connect to the top image socket here, normal to normal and albedo to albedo. Connect the glossy color to the bottom image socket of the two remaining mix nodes. Hold shift and press A. Search for another mix node and change this one to add and minimize the node. Connect these two multiply nodes to the add node. Duplicate the add node and connect the remaining multiply nodes. Duplicate the add node again and connect the two previous add nodes. Duplicate the add node again and connect the previous add node to the top image socket. Then grab this emission pass all the way back here and connect it to the bottom of the add node. Duplicate the add node one last time and connect it the same way. Grab this environment pass all the way back here and connect it to the add node. Now you can connect the last add node to the composite node. You can add a view node if you like, and you can add other nodes to your composite, but this should cover the denoising portion. Adjust your output property settings and render as you normally do. This multipass technique does take slightly longer to render, but it's almost the same amount of time. For this scene and the settings I've shown you, the basic denoise setup took about 28 seconds to render a frame, and the multipass denoising took 30 seconds to render the same frame, so only two seconds longer per frame. I hope you find this technique useful in improving the quality of your renders. If you do, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to support the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.